You're looking at electricity at work. The silk smooth conversion of electrical energy to mechanical energy at the commutator of a big DC motor. In the Laterno system of electric power and control, a motor is located at every point on the machine where work is done. You simply switch in the motors you need when you need them. For example, every movement of this heavy mobile train is electrically powered. Of course, electric power for heavy jobs is not new. Its application in giant diesel electric freight locomotives is universally accepted as giving superior driving characteristics. Locomotive drivers are first cousins to the electric wheels on the Terno equipment. Both depend on DC electric power to get them where they're going on schedule. Here's an electric power application also tried and accepted by modern mill operators. It's the Laterno Log Stacker, a combination of powered function, tailor-made for the heavy lift, carry, and spot jobs that go on all day in a busy mill yard. Here's a machine that puts locomotive power to work, picking up logs from bunks or decks and delivering them to their destination. This stacker operator loads, transports, and unloads around 700 tons of timber every working day. That's a lot of weight to wrestle with, even with machinery. But because the stacker has powered steel fingers to grip the logs, and because of the effortless driving made possible by electric wheels, he's as alert and ready at the end of the day as he was when he started. Let's climb in the cab with him and see why he likes handling logs electrically. Like most operators, he'll mention first the simplified controls. You'll note that after he starts the engine and advances the throttle, all he has to do is press a switch or turn a knob to get the action he wants. This is electric powered steering at work. A slight pressure to the left on the steering switch, and the powerful motor starts driving a gear train to swing the rear axle and steer the stacker to the left. Slight pressure to the right on the same switch, and the axle swings around to steer to the right. Fingertip control power steering makes it possible for this big machine to get around fast to the many different mill yard areas it works. But how about the driving power in those big wheels? Well, as we said, they are first cousins to the locomotive drivers we looked at a few moments ago. In this instance, there's a Laterno DC motor powering every wheel, making each of them a packaged power plant, identical in design and performance, so that all respond in the same way to a simple swinging arm control. Technically, it's called a potentiometer. It determines how much power is to be fed to the wheels tells them which way to roll and how fast to turn. Let's see how it works. To move forward, the handle is given a clockwise rotation. The further it is turned, the more power is fed to the wheels and the faster they travel. Returning the handle to center or neutral position slows the machine and brings it to a stop. For reverse motion, the potentiometer handle is moved counterclockwise. Whenever the control is moved toward neutral, the machine's momentum is power retarded by automatic electric braking with no friction parts to wear. As the stacker's wheels are electrically powered, so are all of its other work functions. Watch as power is applied to grasp this entire load and lift it from the truck. First, the giant fingers grip the load securely. These logs won't roll or slip out. Then the powerful hoist goes to work and quickly lifts the logs out of the bunk. No lost time here. Logs will be spotted for the next operation before the truck clears the yard. Of major significance to mill operators is the fact that one man handles the entire operation, controlling every movement from here in the stacker's cab. 
Putting logs in the coal deck is a good example of how localized electric power lets the operator use the working parts of this big machine, almost like he'd use his own arms and hands. Electric drive and steering ease him into the precise position selected. Pressure on a foot switch and a powerful gear motor raises the load to the exact height. Another pedal switch tilts the mast forward over the deck. The fingers are brought up to release the load and it rolls right into place. Compare this action to decking with a four-man crew and a pair of scale-robbing log tongs. We've seen that the log stacker is strong, but how will it deal with this huge off-highway load? Well, see how those giant steel fingers pick the peaker log neatly out of its saddle? Their ability to take 20-ton bites out of the load makes it possible for this operator to select the logs he wants to get, take them off, and then come back for more. There's still too much weight for a single lift, so the powered fingers are again brought into action, working with the powered hoist and tilt separate the logs and take another king-size bite out of the load. Here comes the third pass. This time, there's just one good bite left. Just a few minutes after it entered the yard, the truck is unloaded. The logs are spread for debarking, and the driver is on his way back for another load. This mill in the California Redwood country cuts 100,000 board feet of redwood lumber daily. They log their own timber and haul most of it directly to the mill on off-highway trucks. During the summer, as much as 200,000 board feet comes in every day. The surplus goes into decks for winter operations. Loads in excess of the daily mill requirement are unloaded in the decking area, and they call on the stacker to move up and do the job. The big machine's ability to hustle from one area to another keeps things humming in this big yard. Logs on the next truck are needed in the operating yard to supply the bucking crew, and the stacker has to hustle back. A positive grip under and over these brittle redwood logs assures their safe removal. Since they started unloading trucks with a log stacker, this mill has greatly reduced breakage losses. A few seconds after they are unloaded, logs are spread on the ground for bark removal and bucking. Once again, the stacker's precise control of driving power and a fork height and angle make short work of what used to be a time-consuming job. Because these redwood logs are debarked on the ground, 
There's a possibility of picking up rock and dirt in the soft outer wood. But when the powered fingers of the stacker roll the logs up on the fork, this hazard for the saws is minimized. Feeding the mill is a job where the stacker has been able to make tremendous savings for this company. They need only one man at the controls of this versatile machine to pick up logs from the deck in quantity, carry them to the mill, and put them on the feed. The stacker has carried these logs through every yard operation taking them off the truck to here, where they are ready for the saws. And for all this handling, not one tong hole has been introduced. This means more saleable lumber per log. This company used to feed logs to the mill with a skyline. And to do the job, they had to work a donkey puncture a rigger, two deck men, and a lead man. Now, one operator manipulating fingers of steel handles the job as just part of his daily routine. Retiring this skyline in favor of the stacker permitted the economy of one man or five. We've seen how localized electric power on the log stacker makes it an all-purpose mill yard tool, doing all the log handling jobs from truck to table. But of all its advantages, perhaps the one most significant for mills where off-highway loads are received is the powered knuckle that animates the machine's giant steel fingers. This feature permits one man and one machine to handle extra big loads quickly and safely. Picking off the peaker, then taking the other logs off in 20-ton bites, freeing the truck in just a few minutes. The log stacker and other machines using this power principle are designed and built by R.G. Letourneau Incorporated, especially for the logging industry. Log stackers with larger capacities are available for applications where heavier single lifts are required. It's electric power, locally applied, that does the job. If you handle off-highway loads, it will pay you to see your Laterno distributor and find out how a log stacker with fingers of steel can unload trucks and move logs for you. In many instances, at about half your present cost.